Hello listeners, in this video we will discuss about the play written by John Webster, The White Devil. John Webster was an English Jacobian dramatist. He is known for his famous tragedies like The White Devil and The Duchess of Malfi. This play The White Devil is a tragedy which has five acts. This play is actually based on historical events that happened in Italy during 1580s. This play The White Devil is considered as a finest Jacobian drama. When we look at the background of the play, this is actually a tragedy which tells the story of adultery, corruption, murder and revenge happens among the wealthy and privileged great men. And women of the Italian nobility. This is actually a true story that happened in Italy among the noblemen. The story reveals the sensational murder of a young Italian noble woman named Victoria. This murder happened in the year 1585. Soon as Webster published this play, this became a failure. And only after he published The Duchess of Malfi, this piece is regarded as a masterpiece. The theme of this play includes vengeance, use of supernatural uh, characters, go in disguise, madness and many violent murders also takes place. Let's see the plot summary of the play. The study notes for this play is given below in the description bar. Let's see the main characters in the play. The play begins with Lodovico. Lodovico is an Italian murderer and he is informed by his two friends named Gasparo and Antonelli. They informed him of his punishment of banishment from Rome. Banishment means sending a person away from a country or a place. Lodovico's friends are Antonelli and Gasparo, so they are the one who are informing him about the punishment. The next is Graziano. Graziano is a villain and the hero in the play. Graziano is a duke of Graziano and his name is Giordano. He is a husband of Isabella and he loves Victoria. Victoria is already married. Her husband is Camilo. Next character is Flaminio. Flaminio is Victoria's brother and Victoria has another br brother called Marcelo. So they, are, they three are siblings, Flaminio, Victoria and Marcelo. This Marcelo will be the secretary for Braziano. Next character is Victoria. Victoria is a Venice lady. She is married to Camillo and then he marries Brazino. And the marriage between Victoria and Brezino is the tragedy in the play. Next is Zanshi. Zanshi is Victoria's servant. She is an African Moor and uh, Flamino's lover. Next is Cornelia. Cornelia is a mother of Victoria, Flamino and Marcelo because their three are siblings and uh, Cornelia is a mother of them. Next is Francisco. Francisco is the Duke of Florence and the brother of Isabella. Next is Isabella. Isabella is the wife of Brasino and she is a sister of Francisco. Now let's see the minor characters. Monticelso. Monticelso is a Catholic uh, cardinal. Monticelso is actually renamed as Pope Paul IV. Uh, he is also a villain in the play. Next is Marcelo. Marcelo is Victoria's brother and he is also the Duke of Florence. Giovanni. Giovanni is the son of Isabella and Brezino. Next we have Jacquez. Jacquez is a Moor. He is an African servant to Giovanni. Next is Conjur. Conjur is a person who shows Braziano the real murderers of Isabella and Camillo. Next is Christophero. Christophero is a ghost character who helps Dr. Giolio 
to murder Isabella. Next is guide Antonio. Antonio is also a ghost character who is present at Isabella's death. Next character is Aragon. Aragon is the announcer in the play. Next is Hortensio. Hortensio is Brasiano's officers. Next character is Mulinazar. Mulinazar is actually Francisco. Francisco has only disguised as Mulinazar. Actually, he disguised as a Moor while killing Brasiano. Next, we have Carlo, Pedro, Dr. Giulio, Lawyer, Ambassadors and Matron. This Dr. Giulio is important because he helps Flamilio and Brasiano to poison Isabella. The character lawyer appears in the play at the end. The lawyers are recruited to condemn Victoria in her trial. And ambassadors appear in the play from uh, France, England, Spain. They are recruited by Victoria's judge to, for the trial. Let's now see the plot summary. The play just begins with Lodovico. Lodovico he is informed by his two friends of his banishment from Rome. His two friends are Gasparo and Antonelli. His friends come and announce him saying that since he has murdered in Italy, he is banished from Rome. And hearing this, he becomes angry and he agrees to leave Rome. But he asks his two friends to stay there in Rome to secure forgiveness for him. The play now turns to the other end. Uh, we come across the Duke of Graziano. Uh, his real name is Giordano. Graziano, he intentionally visits Camillo's house to seduce his beautiful wife called Victoria. To seduce Victoria, Brasiano, he gets help from Flaminio. Flaminio is a brother of Victoria. Since Flaminio is much interested in acquiring high social status, he gets help from him using this opportunity. Victoria's servant, Zanchi. Zanchi, she helps Victoria to secretly meet Brasiano. They both secretly meet. And during the meeting, Brasiano, he gives her a jewel. Victoria, she falls in love with Brasiano. And now she tells him about a dream that she had. In the dream, she witnesses her husband, Camillo, and Brasiano's wife, Isabella. They are trying to kill her. So, listening this, Brasiano, he promises that he will protect her for any consequences that they have. Suddenly, Cornelia, Cornelia is Victoria's mother, she steps inside and she criticizes the love affair between Graziano and Victoria. Because Cornelio, she does not like their love affair and she curses them. And Isabella, she already knows the love affair that her husband has with Victoria. So Isabella, she goes back to her brother's house. Her brother is the Duke of Florence. His name is Francisco. Francisco welcomes his sister. And he comes to know that Isabella has left her husband. And that is why she has arrived to his house. Knowing this, Francisco gets angry. Now Isabella pleads with Francisco to be kind with her husband. To punish Brasiano, Francisco, he recruits Monticelso. Monticelso is a priest and he is known as Pope Paul IV. And war occurs between Brasiano and Francisco. Observing the war, Giovanni, who is the son of Isabella and Brasiano, he arrives and after he arrives, the war ends. Now as Monticelso and Francisco leaves, Isabella approaches her husband and tries to convince him. But Braziano is angry and he mercilessly divorces her. Knowing this, Isabella is unhappy but she thinks that she is also responsible for the divorce because she thinks that she hasn't cared for her husband.
Now on stage Monticelso and Francisco de reappear and they find Isabella Elling at Graziano for his involvement and affair with Victoria. She also blames Victoria for seducing her husband. Meantime, Dr. Giulio, he plots with Flaminio. Flaminio is Victoria's brother and he also plots with Braziano to murder Isabella and Camillo. Because only then Braziano can hold Victoria's hand. Camillo is Monticelso's nephew and the husband of Victoria. Now Monticelso and Francisco, they secretly observe Braziano and Victoria's behavior while Camillo is away. Later in the middle of the night, Braziano, he meets a conjurer. Conjurer is a person who does clever tricks with, uh, which will appear as magic. Now Braziano, he asks the conjurer to reveal two plans to murder two. He actually plans to murder Camillo and Isabella. Now Dr. Giulio, he also joins hand with Flaminio and Braziano to poison Isabella. So in Paudia, Paudia is a place in Italy, Dr. Giulio and his assistant Cristoforo, they plan to poison the lids of a painting of Graziano so that when Isabella kisses the lips of her husband Graziano, she may die licking the poison. Meantime, inside Camillo's house, a night of drinking party is set. So that time, Camillo and Flaminio, they compete in vaulting. Vaulting is a game of jumping heights. When everybody in the party are away from the room, Flaminio pulls Camillo and breaks his neck. So this incident is done, making his death look as if he accidentally broke his neck during vaulting. So the plan executes just as how Braziano wants it to be. Now after the death of Camillo and Isabella, Monticelso and Francisco, they suspect and sense something offensive in Camillo's death and they put Victoria on trial for it. The trial is a judicial verdict. Although Monticelso and Francisco lack evidence that uh, Victoria commits the murder, but they actually plan to get the truth, thinking that she will reveal the real murderer. Now the two brothers of Victoria, Flaminio and Marcelo, they argue to help their sister. Also there are several ambassadors who arrive from Savoy, France, England, Spain to judge in the trial. Braziano is put inside the trial and Victoria dismisses her lawyer because he refuses to speak wisely. Now Monticello, he wants to know the real murderer so he takes up a role of prosecutor and judge and he repeatedly calls Victoria a war for seducing Braziano. As Monticello called her a war, Victoria, she gets angry and defends herself and her bravery wins over the admiration of the ambassadors. Now Monticello in anger, he sentences Victoria to a house of Convertitis. Convertitis is a place where a penitent oars stay. Now Victoria is in violent anger against Monticello and she cries aloud that saying that justice has died. Now Flamino, Victoria's brother, he is upset with the verdict in the trial and he accuses Monticello of being corrupt. On the other end, Lodovico is released from his banishment. So Lodovico also arrives and appears in the verdict trial. Lodovico also calls Victoria a war. Now everyone in the trial disperse. Now Francisco, Isabella's brother, he borrows Monticello's book. The book name is Black Book. He gets this book secretly to seek revenge for his sister's death and tries hard to find out the criminals. Now Isabella's ghost appears in front of 
her brother Francisco, but Francisco dismisses it, thinking that it's a symptom of his melancholy. Melancholy is being sad and showcasing sorrow. Now Francisco, in order to find out the real murderer, he writes a fake love letter to Victoria to anger Braziano. Now later, when Flaminio, uh, Victoria's brother, while he is talking with the matron of the house of Convertitis, Francisco's servant delivers his letter to Victoria. Now Braziano, he reads the letter. While he reads the letter, he widely becomes jealous of Victoria and he calls her a whore. But Victoria pleads hard to Braziano saying that she d does not have any relationship with Fra Francisco. Unconvinced Braziano, he breaks off his relationship with Victoria. However, when he sees Victoria is crying, his anger subsides and changes his heart. He again believes her and resolves to break her out of her prison. Meanwhile, in Rome, the Pope election is underway and Lodovico, he stands guard outside of the assembly to prevent the brides. Now, after the election, there is a new Pope. The new Pope is Monticelso. Now, during the election ceremony, a servant informs Francisco that Victoria, Braziano, Flaminio and Giovanni has fled from the city. Hearing this, Francisco gets anger and he gets help from Monticelso. He says that Monticelso should punish them. Francisco and Monticelso, they hire Lodovico to murder Bra Braziano and Victoria. Meantime, Victoria and Braziano, they get married and now they are in the court of Podia. Podia is in Italy. Now, Mulinazar is a mysterious moor. Mulinazar is Francisco. He has disguised as Mulinazar and he arrives in the court. He is with two capuchin monks. Braziano is unaware that Francisco has disguised as Mulinazar. So, he welcomes them. But when he leaves the stage, the men reveal their true identities. The two Capuchin monks are Lodovico and Gasparo. Victoria's brother Flaminio is in love with Zanchi, Victoria's moor servant. Knowing the love affair of Flaminio, Marcelo fights with Flaminio. Marcelo also criticizes Flaminio. Hearing it, Flaminio kills his own brother Marcelo. Meanwhile, Braziano tries to murder Flaminio. The two disguised monks, Gasparo and Lodovico, they poison the mouthpiece of Braziano's helmet. And they also kill Braziano, holding his neck tight. Now, Zanchi, who is already in love with Flaminio, she now falls in love with uh, Moor Mulanaza, who is Francisco. Now, Zanchi, she reveals the death of Isabella and Camillo. Zanchi also tells that Victoria and herself are running away that night. Now, Braziano's ghost arrive in front of Flaminio. Flaminio, he decides to kill his sister in order to set everything right. Flaminio, he finds Victoria and Zanchi and he demands for money. He also reveals that Braziano made him promise to kill Victoria if he dies. Then Victoria agrees to a three-way suicide pact in which Flaminio dies first. Victoria and Zanchi break their promise and shoot at Flaminio. Flaminio becomes angry and reveals that the gun was not loaded with bullets. Flaminio jumps quickly to kill them. But Lodovico, Gasparo, Carlo and Pedro, they push them. The men stab Flaminio, Victoria and Zanchi to death. The play ends displaying the four murderers, Lodovico, Gasparo, Carlo and Pedro because they are the cause of the three deaths. The death of Victoria, Flaminio and Zanchi. Hope this video helped you to know about the play. The study notes for the play is given below on the description bar. 
thank you for watching